Heartbroken Wales fans are coming to terms with the end of their World Cup dream after being knocked out of the tournament. To get through to the next round Wales had to beat England and hope Iran USA drew. If the other game was anything but a draw, Wales had to win by at least four goals. It was the first time Wales had qualified for a World Cup since 1958. Wales fan Gethin Mark Harris, 58, from Swansea, said outside the stadium, of course I wanted Wales to win but England are a strong side. It was a case of getting the first half out the way and trying to score some goals, we'd have to have attacked to do that, but it didn't work out that way. Obviously this is 64 years in the making and this is just the start, I think, because we've had a taste of what World Cup football is about. Fans had gathered at Cardiff Music and Arts venue Tram Shed to watch the game. Eleanor Huggins, from Pontypridd, said, The game was disappointing, but I'm really proud of everything they've done, I'm really proud of Wales. TJ, from Swansea, insisted the result didn't reflect the game, adding, We still did well towards the end, but it's what people expected unfortunately. We will go to the Euros next time. Gabriel, from Tony Pandey, added, I thought we would pull something out the bag, I thought we were going to bring the pride of the Welsh home. But we didn't have have it in us and we have four years to wait to the next one. Wales is going home. But at least they get to go home to Wales. Dialch and see you soon. A with ring above 3 4th O degree 3 4th A U O 3 4th A U A 3 4th O 1 4th 3 4th O 3 4th O copyright A Oko Rob McElhenney, at Reem Selhoney. November 29, 2022. View original tweet on Twitter at the end of the game Wales fans were seen leaving viewing areas in Swansea, with others holding their heads in their hands as they watched their side crash out of the tournament. Wales fan Ha Phillips, 54, from Carmarthen, said they held their own in the first half but were under the cosh in the second, adding, the dream is over but the boys have done well. I'm very proud, never been prouder. Ha said he had thoroughly enjoyed the trip to Qatar, adding he was so glad I came. Garen Rees, from Aberdare, lives in Qatar with wife Aisha. While he supports Wales, she supports England. Garen said, I'm just so proud of the boys coming over here after 64 years, putting a show on for us Welsh living in Qatar and those coming over. Proud of everyone and thank you boys for everything. Aisha said, it was great to see England win and Rashford on form today. Before the game, the Prince and Princess of Wales posted on Twitter, Here we go, may the best team win.